But the first couple of weeks, they have balance issues, and because their legs are so short, it's a little bit harder for them to kind of get that groove. He was already five months old, but his body's not the same as, as his age. He looked terrible, he was brawny, no hair. I was very stumped as to why he was so little. But it didn't take him long. Once he discovered food was amazing and awesome, he didn't stop from there. He was sassy from day one. He is always stomping. When he first learns, it's those little hand stomp. Then after a while, you notice that it progresses to an actual, you start hearing that stomping on something would turn his little butt towards me. He did not have other siblings, so I provided a lot of stuffed animals. But I think he really enjoyed his stuffed animals that were his size. After that, it's usually they're doing the handstand, but when they're coming down, they stomp the back feet. So as soon as I would open the doors, he would turn around and show me his little hind end, put up his tail and start stomping. So they graduate to, we have something back there that's our weapon. So let me make noise and then I'm gonna give it to you. He's not gonna spray me or I'm not worried about that. His fur started to finally grow in. I thought, okay, I'm on the right track there. I had him inside for the longest time. His instincts have kicked in. He's crazy. He just really wanted out of his cage, his cage in the house. So I put him outside and now he is as happy as can be. As soon as I got him outside, and I don't have to teach him how to practice in the sand, he picked that up. Now he's four and a half pounds, and I usually release him at about six. So I think by spring, he's gonna be ready.